Welcome to our reading for May 2018. Now, remember it's a general reading, so see what feels right for you. See which signs, symbols, bells, whistles, messages, energies resonate for you and bring you clarity to what you're wondering, concerned, confused, inquiring, dreaming, and praying about. We are all spiritual. We are all psychic. We are all children of God, but we're not all going through the same thing at the same time, at the same pace. This could clarify the past, it could shed light into the future, or be right in sync with the now. In the end, always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions based in love for the highest and greatest good of everybody so we're all uplifted in love. See how it feels for you. If you get a chance, try to check out the musical playlist that I put below. See if there's something personal for you in the lyrics, in the music, or just enjoy the tunes. Thank you so much for being here. I love you. I hope this reading is helpful, and I'll see you in a moment. Hey, Leo. Welcome to our reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's begin. Let's get clarity on the energies coming through in May 2018. Now before I begin, I'm trying something a little different with the readings this month, and I put Pandora on random shuffle. And the song that came through for Leo was Have You Ever Seen the Rain? But it's the version by Honey Boy Martin. So I'm gonna put that song below for you guys. Now let's begin the reading. Let's see what God, Source, Holy Spirit, our higher self, angels and energies of love have for the highest and greatest good of all. We're gonna start with one card, get some general advice, wisdom and clarity for Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising. Some insight into May 2018. Victory! Beautiful! Victory is coming through for Leo. So a victorious road. You're heading down the right direction, the right path. The right doors are opening up for you. This could be something you already started, you were already pursuing, doing some research on, signed up for a class. Um, I get like a, a paper or a presentation, something like that. Maybe the right opportunity, the right job is now ready for you. The right connections now come through. The right understanding and understanding, a communication comes through. So victory is beautiful. I feel like there's a big old trumpet here. So you're going to hear the call answer the door, answer that text. When you get the urge to call or text or communicate with somebody, follow it. Make sure you pursue something. I wanna say stop procrastinating somewhere. So this could be when you have a lot to do, maybe a little bit goes a long way. I feel like you've already planted good seeds. So this is Archangel Sandalphon. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. So maybe prayer is important. Sometimes we just have to let go and let God and allow something to unfold in our world in divine timing. Don't put a lid on the box. Allow that box to be open so the best possible thing can come through for you. I feel like this is also a win-win victory. Um, everybody benefits, everybody wins. So how can you look at your situation and bring growth and prosperity to everybody involved? If this is involving more than one person or a relationship or something at work, something with your family, how can everybody feel victorious? Um, so it could be differences of opinions, maybe let bygones be bygones, agree to disagree, allow everybody's opinions, personalities, and talents to shine. I feel like together you create that orchestra, you create harmony. 
So this is beautiful. We're starting with victory in May. So maybe this is something you were waiting for. Um, I'm getting that you're like sitting down at a restaurant, you place an order, and you wanted to run into the kitchen and get it before it was ready, you know? So allow, allow patience, allow something to grow, allow something to come through when it's cooked, when it's ready for you. It will be ready, it will come through. Even if it's not in May, something is cooking in the kitchen for you. Something's baking in the oven for Leo. Um, I feel like it's something specific, a niche, something that involves your talents, something you're good at, something you're natural with, and something that brings um, like a happy, spontaneous, authentic excitement into your world. And I feel that like that excitement uh, magnifies into the other areas in your world. When you talk about this thing that you're doing, that you're pursuing, um, your excitement is authentic and it brings the right opportunities back into your world. Even if you're talking to one person that has nothing to do with what you're talking about, that person talks to somebody else and that comes back around to you with the right connection. I hope that made sense. So let's get clarity for victory. Archangel Sandalfon, your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. Oh, I just thought of faith by George Michael. I'll put that song below for you guys. Let's get clarity on victory. Oh, there's also a muse song. Um, we will be victorious. I'll find that song and I'll put it below for you guys as well. Let's get clarity for Leo on victory. I feel like it could have been a detour or you start down one road, but you end up going a different direction. So allow detours to come through. Sometimes it, a no or a door that shuts is so the right door or window opens up. All right, let's get clarity for Leo on victory. Your prayers have been heard and answered, have faith. And you have the Nine of Pentacles coming through. So this could be a good opportunity coming through for you. This is feeling really good and really independent. There's a girl here and she has a big old bird on her arm. So I feel like this card is also an earth angel. So helping with the environment, cleaning up your environment, cleaning up your house, your outside, your yard, making your environment an oasis for you. It's also downtime. It's chilling on your own, doing something on your own that you enjoy. So this could be getting a massage, taking a bubble bath, getting your hair done, buying yourself some new clothes, something new that brings a fresh energy into your world. I also feel like it's just relaxation. So it's working really hard in the day and making sure you have time, Leo, to recharge your batteries. Don't run on empty, you know? Don't give from, from an empty plate. Make sure you take care of yourself. Um, Feel sexy in your skin, you know, feel good in your shoes, in your clothes. Maybe you're doing some exercise or extra um, meditation, stretching, sleeping, maybe some healing, so like a Reiki, something like that, some yoga, something beneficial for you and your energetic bodies, your emotional body, your spiritual body, your mental body. Everything is going to benefit when you take care of yourself. So... Bring the power back to you. Do something good for you. Um, I always get like a garden energy or something with the environment with this. I feel like the big bird is your direct connection to spirit. So pay attention to those ideas that come through, the opportunities that are given to you. Maybe you start to do something and it's not exactly right for you, but you learn along the way that there's something better. You meet somebody at um, the job that's not quite right for you that brings you to the job that is right for you. So, 
but I feel like this is happy home life. It's a nine, so it's almost completion. Maybe you're working really hard to get something done, get something finished, and now it's time for you to relax, to enjoy yourself a little bit. So maybe go out to a movie, hang out with some friends, but I feel like you're independent here. It's like going to the movies by yourself because you want to see it. It's going to a show by yourself because you're going to enjoy it more. So this could be an individual experience, um, driving in your car by yourself and just enjoying the ride. So let's get clarity on the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like sometimes it's healing finances too. It could be money that you find, something that brings some stability into your world that makes you feel abundant in your world. It's also beautifying your environment. So I wanna say clear your space, you know, clean out the cupboards, do little by little every day and it goes a long way. You don't have to plant the entire orchard at once. It starts with a seed. You know, and eventually the season changes and apples grow on your tree. I want to say the change of the season is important and patience is important and taking care of yourself this month is really important. So maybe you always take care of others. You're always doing something for somebody else and it's time to take care of yourself. Get enough sleep. Maybe wake up in the, uh, a little bit earlier in the morning or go to bed earlier at night. Um, get enough sleep. Um, I want to say write down your dreams or maybe like a dream board, something like that. Maybe you need to see something in front of you so you see the goals. Um, when something is an idea, it's still just kind of in the ether until you put it down, till you pursue it, till you make it happen, till you follow the clues. I feel like writing something down is that first step. So let's see. Let's get clarity for the Nine of Pentacles. Abundance coming through. Independent energy. Maybe you're starting a home business. You know? Um, doing something at home. Creating a sacred space for yourself to be creative. Um... You know, like your own little corner somewhere. Maybe something, in I want to say, in the shed or outside, in the garage even. All right, let's get clarity on the Nine of Pentacles for Leo. And some victory coming through. I also want to say like a road trip or a vacation by yourself even if you're on vacation with others, perhaps schedule yourself some alone time, you know, to like, I want to say like walk through some antique shops or something like that on your own. Um, like visit a cafe on your own. Let's get clarity for Nine of Pentacles and Victory. And the Eight of Spring is sometimes when you feel overwhelmed. This is a lot of information that happens in a short amount of time. I feel like this card is kind of like the group text. You know, something starts here, it starts small, but once you hit upload, once you hit send, it goes out there. It could also be the reverse. So it's a lot of information out there that all is directed back to you. So maybe that's why you need some alone time, some you time. Um, the B is the eight of spring. It's a lot of activity. It's a lot going on. It's multitasking. It's handling different parts of your world all at once. You know, it's holding the baby in your arms, being on the phone, cooking, uh, cooking something there and cleaning up the mess all at the same time while you do your schedule. So you can handle it. You can handle a lot. This is a big load on your plate but make it fun. Perhaps you have to schedule something or, um, you know, I, I want to say schedule yourself some time where you can relax because you're probably running on empty somewhere in your world. Here, the eight of spring is the B. So that makes me think of, um, what is it? My girl? I want to say my girl has a song like honey from the bee. It also makes me think of Van Morrison. Tupelo Honey. So I'll put both of those songs below. Um, B is you've been presented with many wonderful opportunities all at once. 
So you have more than one option. You have more than one thing that you need to attend to or do or make a decision on. So you could do it all at once a little or one at a time, step by step. Um, while this may feel really stressful, remember to be grateful for the blessings that heaven sends you. So you have blessings coming through. You have victory coming through. You have something that you really want to do that's happening. It's actually unfolding in your world. Don't stand in your own way. Trust yourself. Know you have the strength to handle it all. You just have to um, perhaps rearrange something so you can do it um, little by little that ends up going a long way. So I think of the yard, like outside here, we have a big old mess that happened in March from the storms that came through. So pine cones were everywhere. Trees fell down all over the place. And it was kind of overwhelming when the snow melted to see how much mess there was outside in all of the yards. So as I help my, my mother and my sister here, so, and my grandmother. So it was kind of overwhelming at first, but you do one section at a time, you know, you just take care of one yard, one area and start there. And eventually it does all get done. So maybe you have to do one thing a day, take five minutes to do something and make sure you pay attention to yourself as well. So let's get clarity for the eight of spring, a lot going on, bees buzzing around. That's interesting. My sister's a Leo and today she actually showed me an article in the beekeeper magazine that when you're a lazy lawnmower, it's actually more beneficial to both your yard and the environment. So you know, maybe you don't have to mow the, the lawn every week. It's actually more beneficial to the bees, to the birds, to the plants to do it every other week and allow some growth to come through. So maybe you have to do something every two weeks or take a break in between something so you can recharge your batteries. Do it a different way. You don't have to do it all at once, Leo. So let's get clarity for the eight of spring. That's like the eight of rods. I think of eight also as a manifestation number. You know, it manifests in your world. It brings abundance in your world. It makes me think of finances as well. So maybe you're saving for a vacation, saving for a rainy day. Maybe it's a good investment opportunity coming through. Um, maybe it starts with, I want to say buying a home, especially here. I feel like this is a homeowner here. So maybe you always rented and you start looking for a home. So the money that you put into your house or your apartment every month comes back to you in something solid, like a solid foundation. Sometimes the first home isn't your ideal home, but it allows you to get the second home. Maybe this is also a car or something like that coming through. Um, you know, maybe in the beginning you don't have the best car, but the car gets you to the job that gets you the better car. So allow yourself room for growth, you know, to obtain your goals eventually, but maybe have smaller goals in the beginning. What can you do today? What can you start today? What phone call can you make? Um, let's get clarity for the eight of spring, the nine of pentacles and victory for Leo. And the Wren is coming through. So number 39. That brings us to a 12. That makes me think of the hanged man. A pause, a tweener time, thinking outside the box. And the 12 brings us to a 3, which is creative energy. So be creative. Be creative with your environment, with your solutions, um, with your approach. The wren is this little tiny bird. It's so cute. I also see the sunshine here, um, like a big old sun or a big moon. Maybe the sun and the moon are important. That makes me think of maybe somebody born on the 18th and the 19th, um, or maybe the 18th and 19th of the month are important. Maybe uh, like 20 days, you know, something like that. I also see jewelry here. Maybe you make jewelry or create something or paint something like that. Something with feathers even. 
Uh, let's see. I feel like you were also in the in the mess here. Like there's tangles. Like you're you know tangling out the knots in your hair, or um, like becoming unbound from something that was holding you down. So freeing yourself. It makes me think of like raspberries or um, blackberries. Um, and it makes me think of a gentle approach with something. So let's see, number 39, Wren. I am Wren, the active spirit and giving heart. I am poetic inspiration. I am the energy of life and the utilization of everything this earth yields. So this is definitely an earth card, helping the environment, connecting to animals, uh, paying, paying attention to the ideas and inspirations, your intuition and your gut feelings that come through you. Being strong, that's a strong card. Um, it's also a grounded card. So I wanna say maybe go outside and ground yourself. Sit down on the grass, take off your shoes, sit on a rock and see how it actually changes your energy. I squander no resources. I am life lived to its fullest. I am the bold use of both agility and wit. You have encountered a need to stay alert. You have reason to make things move quickly now. That's this. So if you have to move quickly with something, make sure you also get some downtime. Balance those energies out so you're not overwhelmed and stressed out. Uh, just thought of, uh, I think it's called Stressed Out. It's the song by 21 Pilots. I'll find it and put it below. Um, all right, you have reason to make things move quickly now. I am the reminder that you have put things into motion and so you must mo maintain momentum. Uh, there's also a song, Momentum, by Amy Mann. I'll put that below. Expand your circle and utilize those around you for help. So if this is you always doing something on your own, maybe it's time to ask for help, to allow somebody else, um, I want to say the gift to help you out. I feel like maybe there is help being offered, but you're saying no. So perhaps just say yes, give those reins away a little bit, you know, allow somebody else to do something for you. Expand your circle, ut utilize those around you for help. You may find others assessed, uh, other, wait, you may find others and assess to your accomplishments. I am the determination to follow the path that lay ahead. Trust the tug of your spirit and carry onward. You are lighthearted in the face of hard work. You are joyous aspiration. You are stamina. You are Ren. All right. This is beautiful. So there's a lot going on this month. So make sure you balance those scales and give yourself some time off. If it's too much time off, it's time to get a moving. You have some victory waiting for you in May. So I hope this reading is helpful. I love you, Leo, very much. And I will see you soon. Bye.